There are so many forms of abuse and discrimination that LGBTIQ communities face around the world. So-called corrective rape, killings of transgender women, arbitrary arrest and mass detention of LGBTIQ people, torture, conversion therapy, forced marriage. The list really goes on and on. The level of cruelty of negation of rights. It is impossible not to have a sense of urgency when seeing the extent of suffering and damage that is being perpetrated every day around the world. The murder of a Russian activist has been linked to a website that offers prizes for attacks on gay people. 57 Nigerian men are facing 10 years in jail. Their crime? Homosexuality. You know, rights are a privilege to everyone by virtue of being human beings. But yet, we continue to battle for existence. This is more than a fight for equality. This is also a fight about life and death. Outright Action International fights for the rights of LGBTIQ people everywhere. LGBT issues were not at all included in the human rights agenda in the early 90s. No one really wanted to touch those issues. They were still incredibly controversial. In the early days, we were breaking new ground every day, literally putting these issues on the map, proving that these were populations around the world that were persecuted. There's not a lot of good documentation about LGBTIQ people's lives. The opposition makes up lies about us. And so we, we gather evidence to document the human rights violations we experience. One of our greatest strengths is having staff in offices in seven countries globally. We partner with local organizations that work directly with communities. We gather data and then we compile it in a global report. Last year, our research was consumed by over one billion people worldwide. A new report has looked at the reach of conversion therapy and the consequences. When you read some of the things that happen elsewhere, the electric shocks, the rape, it is utterly alarming, isn't it? So we looked into the situation in Africa and Asia and Latin America and the Caribbean, and unfortunately we found examples of conversion therapy in all of these regions. Once we have evidence, we use that information to push for change with governments around the world. And we're uniquely positioned to do that because Outright is the only LGBTIQ organization with permanent presence at the United Nations headquarters in New York. Among the most pressing issues of the day that should be on the international agenda is the ongoing violence and discrimination facing LGBTI people worldwide. Organizations like Outright that have deeply held values of consultation with local stakeholders and of excellence in understanding the points of entry and the pitfalls of United Nations work are crucial to make sure that all of those energies move toward a single goal. And the really incredible thing is that we have been able to move the needle forward. Some of the greatest successes I see of the past 25 years at the UN for LGBTIQ rights is actually being able to connect mainstream concepts, core well-being for, for all human beings, to LGBTIQ people to say, yes, you're entitled to full humanity. Yes, you're entitled to your rights. For us, Outright is the leader of the LGBTI movement in New York. Outright is like our bridge between civil society on the ground and our world platform at the United Nations. Civil society participation in UN spaces is what makes a difference to ensure that LGBTQ issues remain at the forefront and central in the conversation, just to showcase that our stories matter and that our bodies are very important in the space. For so many aching years, we have been denied and we have been silenced. All right is one of the only truly global LGBT rights groups. Support to Outright here manages to ripple across the world. 
and support groups everywhere. One of Outright's greatest accomplishments is helping to give birth to and strengthen so many LGBTIQ organizations globally. That is the secret to our success. Outright makes grants directly to them, and when there is a crisis, we know how to respond, and we're ready to galvanize support to meet them exactly where they need and ensure their safety. Outright also trains activists to become effective advocates for themselves. When we're training to, to go into a week's long worth of meetings, back-to-back -back meetings with UN diplomats, UN agencies. Outright's role is to provide connections in terms of partnerships, to support activists in terms of accessing spaces such as the UN, to help amplify the stories and voices of organizations at the grassroots level. Through the training program, I learned how to do the advocacy, how to build up the partnership with government officials and other organizations. I use that experience implement in our marriage equality campaigns. And after one through three and a half years, very intensive campaign, we passed the law which allowed a same-sex couple to get married in Taiwan. <laughs> When I look back at the past 30 plus years, I cannot believe how much success we've had for the LGBTIQ community globally. It has surpassed our wildest dreams. When we organize, when we work collaboratively, we move mountains. The challenge now is to maintain our momentum. In the face of rising right-wing governments around the world that are rolling back LGBTIQ rights. We need to act urgently, we need to act decisively, and we need to act with the means that allow us to actually ensure that none are ultimately left behind. The stakes couldn't be higher. Change happens because LGBTIQ activists and organizations insist on it, demand on it, and know how to get it done. Outright will keep fighting. I hope you'll join us.